Hey guys and welcome to the third video in this tutorial series. This time we will have a closer look at the user interface and I will show you the most important UI elements in detail. At first let us take a look at screen modes. You can rotate through them by pressing F11. There is a maximized or windowed mode and two full screen modes. One with the menu bar visible, the other one without it. Now we can have a look at the start screen. Beside the menu bar, which we will discuss later, up here you can see the system time. Down here you have recently opened shows for a quick restart. Below that you see three buttons, which you can use to create a new show, browse for an existing one or to open the director user manual. Here you can change the topology that you want to be used on the next show. We will have a look at how to build a topology in another video. Lastly, down here you can see a button that opens up the message window. It will be red or orange if you have errors or warnings in the log. So much for the start screen, let's jump into a show. In here let us first take a look at all the different windows. Directly in the middle you can see the preview and program views, which will give you feedback to the running show. The preview shows the currently queued templates and therefore gives a hint for what the program will look like when you take the templates on air. The program view lets you see a copy of the content of your show. With it, you can get an idea of what is actually happening right now. Here I have a list of all templates that you can queue and take in your show. Down here you have some pages, templates pre-filled with values. Besides the fact that the pages already have filled in values, they work rather much the same. Up here you can see the project data, which holds values affecting the whole Ventus project. The data channels are defined by the designer creating the content. In this case we can change the background visual, for example a texture, and five colors that are used in the graphics. Also, you can see the playlist over here, which is already filled with some templates and pages. The playlist simply plays out all items that are in the list, one after each other automatically if you give a duration for each item or you can control it manually. You may even let the playlist play its items looped and save the whole playlist into a file and exchange it in this way. Next you can see the properties window, in which you can adjust all values of a template or a page before taking it on air. Down here you have the timeline. When activated, it, it records every template taken on screen and saves the entered values and the timecodes. This way you are able to replay the show at any other time in the exact same way. Additionally, you can also queue templates by dragging them in here. Here you can also find the Assets Explorer. It will give you access to the directory structure in the Assets folder of the Ventus project. This way you can, for example, simply drag and drop assets into the template's data channels that allow them. Lastly, you can use those two buttons to have a preview of the topology, which cannot be edited while the show is running out to open the message log which we already had a look at before. Every window in the director interface has this small arrow which you can click to let a small options dialog pop up. This way you can for example adjust some minor things in the windows controls. If you do not like to work with the default window layout you can change it by undocking, docking, hiding and showing single windows. If you need to show a window you can check it in the window menu. And here you can also create completely new windows, for example for a plugin that you want to use. Lastly, you may also save window layouts and reuse them later. Now let me introduce one of the most useful things in the director user interface, the shot box. Whenever you click on something where you can insert any kind of asset, be it a texture, movie, live video, a scene, template or even a page, you can see the shot box popping up in the middle of the screen. Here you can type in keywords to search for the asset that you want to insert there. The results are updated after each change in the search bar and you can either click the result to use or simply go through them with the arrow keys and press enter when the wanted one is highlighted. With this little tool you can fill your templates very fast with the assets that you want to use. When talking about auto templates later, you will even see one more cool use case for the shot box. Lastly let us discuss the menu bar and the options up here. Since it is similar to other tools menu bars, you will most likely have an idea of what you can find in here. In file you can create a new show, open another one, save the current show or close it and you can see a list of the last 10 open shows that you can open quickly. Under show you have all options regarding the show file or the project file it is based on. For a detailed insight, see the second video of the series about the director show. 
In Playlist and Timeline you have all controls that you need for the Playlist and Timeline windows. In Topology you can see all topologies you have saved and when not currently running a show, change the used one. In Tools you can open the Ventus Configuration Editor, which is explained in detail in the Ventus Designer Tutorial series. You can view and change all shortcuts used in Ventus Director and open the Options dialog. Here you can change several options which are quite self-explanatory. Under Help you can open the User menu and see the About dialog. So for now let us stop at this point. Now you have an overview of the interface of the Ventus Director. In the next video we will take a closer look at how to run a show and see some tricks on how to make your life easier if you have to react very fast during an on-air show. So stay tuned and I will see you in the next video. Bye!